God is saying to you today, God is going to surprise you with unexplainable blessings. You've been in this place long enough. The Holy Spirit is moving you to a new level. Your breakthrough is happening. Every assignment of the enemy has been cancelled. Like if you have believed in me. If you are in a season of waiting, may I encourage you with this? A delay is not a denial. When you think God is saying no, he may just be saying, Not yet. He has only the best in mind for his children. When the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. Type 1111 if you trust God. Just wait until you see why God had you wait. What God is doing is beyond what you could ever pray or think of. I pray that patience will come upon you as you wait on the Lord for what he has in store for you. All of your days have already been written in God's book. When you go through a disappointment, don't stop on that page. Stay the course. Keep believing. You may be tired, discouraged, and frustrated, but don't give up on your future. Our God is faithful. Type. I am ready to shine. To affirm. Never underestimate the Lord's ability to flip your script just like that. God can open a door, change a heart, restore something, or transfer a blessing immediately. I declare you will see God do the miraculous for you and your family before this month ends. In Jesus' name, Amen. God is going to open doors for you that have been locked for a long time. Suddenly, miracles will start to happen. Restoration and healing are being released. Your greatest days of productivity and prosperity are on the horizon. Don't quit, keep moving forward. Type yes if you are ready. If God wants you to have it, the blessing will forever have your name on it. There is nothing that you can or cannot do to change that as you continue walking the way God wants you to walk. And that is why it is important to not overthink or harbor over the way things unfold in your life. There is a certain timing and purpose attached to everything that you face in life. As you begin to truly rely on faith and not sight, you will realize that your circumstances are actually working for you, not against. Sometimes, God removes certain people from our lives to protect us. Accept it. Don't go running after them trying to make them stay. If God closed that door, keep it closed. The past has nothing new to say. You cannot heal and move forward with the same people and conditions that hurt you. Rest, beloved child in the loving arms of my peace. Activate the flow of unlimited wealth, happiness, pleasure, freedom, and confidence into your life by making one tiny change to your morning routine. Would you want it? Check link in comments below to know the wealth secrets to attract an abundance of wealth. Subscribe our channel if you love God to the one struggling right now, to the one who may be having a hard day, week, or even year thus far, to the one who feels like the storm will never end, to the one who is hanging on to faith by a thread, keep fighting for you. Don't worry about your friends or your family right now. Focus on you. Keep holding on because deep down you hear that whisper that says you were meant for far more than this sadness and pain you are feeling. Keep fighting because the enemy doesn't get to win. 
Not today. Not ever. Keep fighting because you will get there. And it will all be worth it. Like this video if you have a belief in God. There will be times where God's answers will hurt. Maybe at first, it doesn't make sense to you. You've waited but there was no change. You have questions but he didn't answer yet. You've prayed and it felt like there has been nothing but silence. However, God has always been there. The hurt and the pain was needed for you to grow and heal amidst the trials and tribulations. Though he doesn't want to see you in pain, like a father to his own child, he disciplines whom he loves. Your rejections are his redirections. No matter what is going on around you, don't stop trusting him. He knows what he's doing. Type 555 If you believe this, when your blessings are getting closer, the attacks become greater. The enemy doesn't want you to have all that God has in store for you. He is threatened by your assignment that is placed on the inside of you and the anointing that is over your life. Stay focused and in trust in God. When you surrender to God, a sense of peace will wash over you because you'll begin to realize that the real blessing is in the process, not necessarily the outcome. Submit to His will, and when you feel like the wait is longer than expected, fill your mind with so much of His word again and remind yourself of His promise. Type I embrace my power to affirm no matter what you are going through, I am with you. You are not by yourself on this journey. Whereas people may have walked away, especially when things got hard, I will never. I am the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. The same God who brought you out of your depression, suicidal thoughts, anxiety, fear, insecurities, Loneliness, financial hardships, and heartbreak is the same God who can bring you out of your current situation. I did it before and I will do it again. Trust me, hold on to my unchanging hand. Seek me and you will find me. Keep your eyes set on me as the storm rages around you. I will keep you afloat. You will make it through this. Just wait until you see why God had you wait. It doesn't make sense now, but what God is doing is beyond what you could ever pray or think of. I pray that patience will become your portion in this season of your life as you wait on the Lord for what He has in store for you. Type yes to receive it. God brings moments into our lives when we have to stand alone in difficulty and testing. God will even blind the eyes and deafen the ears of our closet friends, family, and loved ones in moments so that we can learn to minister to ourselves. We don't always understand God's methods. His ways don't always make sense to us, but we have to realize that God sees the big picture. Think about it this way. You may be ready for what God has for you, but somebody else who is going to be involved is not ready yet. God has to do a work in another person or another situation before your prayer can be answered according to His will for your life. All the pieces of the puzzle have to fit for it to come together. To live with a peaceful, grateful, and content heart, you must learn to trust God's timing. Let God do it His way. Don't try to make things happen on your own. Your prayers will be answered and it will be right on time. Type 999 To claim it 
You have to walk by faith and not by sight. Keep expecting it. Keep believing for it. Keep talking about it happening, acting like it's going to happen, thinking like it's going to happen, walking like it's going to happen. Release your faith. Your faith is going to take you where you couldn't go on your own. God is more than able. He's just waiting on your faith to catch up. If you want to attract huge money effortlessly, starting today, check link in comments below to know the shocking wealth secrets revealed by rogue NASA scientists. Subscribe our channel if you believe in God. God is behind the scenes of your life not only directing your steps but directing the steps of the people you need to get you to where he needs you to be. He's not just in control of your life. He's in control of your circumstances and all that comes your way. Nothing happens by chance. Therefore, you do not need to remain defeated when things don't work out in the way you had hoped for. Get back up. God wouldn't allow it if it wasn't in the plan. What you're facing today is really not keeping you from your purpose. It's actually leading you to your purpose and all that God wants you to have. Type. I am evolving. To affirm. God loves you enough to remove anyone from your life that doesn't align with his purpose and plan for you. Instead of running after them, compromising who you are to make them stay, choose to let them go and allow God to restore your broken heart and find hope in him again. God cannot add until you learn to let go. When one door closes, he will always open up another. Every loss is repaid with gain. Take care of yourself. Type yes if you're ready. And share this video with five people who trust God. Comment. Jesus is Lord. To support our channel please subscribe our channel and turn on bell notification. God is teaching you how to be silent in a frustrated season. The less you say, the more he moves. Stay silent.